So I'm, I have the experience, I've been associated with the program pretty much from the beginning, from the first meeting of the External Review Committee. But I know what drove it, and I've seen what's happened. So let me tell you how I see that. Originally, this was about raising the expectations or the ambition, I would say, of some of the Portuguese researchers in the universities. We knew that they were very good. I knew personally from my interaction that they were very talented. But they weren't really performing on the international stage to the extent that they were capable of. So one thing was, by partnering this way, can we let them raise themselves to the world? So that, that was one. And that happened, I think. Uh, it had the usual components. We must develop talent. We must do world-class research. But let's get out there. Let's get seen. Let's be noticed in the ICT arena. Then as we move forward, we developed some postgraduate programs. They had good research coming out. But then there was a little bit more that could come along. When I look at the second phase in particular, we'd faced the pandemic, not the pandemic, the uh, financial problems. And the enterprise agenda became more important, more recognized. Fortunately, what we'd done provided a really good base for that to be established. And if you look at what happened at that time, the nature of the program shifted a bit, a lot more engagement with industry, a lot more emphasis on not just research, but what will happen to that research afterwards, making use, use of it in general terms. Then we get to the third phase, where we are now. What else? What else changed? Well, of course, science changed, or technology changed, whichever you like to think of it. If we look at this third phase, and at some of the companies that have come out, they are dominated, very strongly influenced, by data, data science, machine learning, data analytics, and all that that plays in, in all sorts of things whether it's language translation, whether it's uh, human-computer interaction, the part that it will play, whether it's a real industrial problem for an old-fashioned industry that needs to be modernized, you find that is there everywhere. So what I see, we've seen talent that's been brought up and developed in a different way. We see academia, universities, that have now reached out much more and embrace the enterprise agenda, collaborate with industry, give thought to what happens to this research other than just gets published in a journal, how is it going to be used? And now we see also the change in the technology that is in its nature not just a change in ICT technology, but technological developments that are pervasive throughout industry throughout society. Data, data and analytics is everywhere. And this program has played its part in that. It shows up in the nature of the economy. The role that ICT has in the Portuguese economy right now, the role that startup companies, well, we say startup, companies that were startup companies that are now what we call unicorns, more than a billion dollars. That's a remarkable achievement and it feeds back. Oh, and by the way, this is a partnership. This feeds both ways. Carnegie Mellon was a really important part of this, but it's, they don't just give, they take. And I mean that in the positive sense. It's exchange, it's exchange of things, learning from one another and embracing. You'll gather, I'm a fan of what this has achieved. I'm very impressed. So what next? More of same, for sure. More of something different is worth thinking about as well. The technology will change and so on. But what about this is something to think about? How about reaching out a bit more widely? Are there other countries or other partners that might want to network into the Carnegie Mellon Portugal ecosystem that might bring some enrichment and at the same time take something? Maybe that's into developing countries, or maybe it's just into different countries. It might be able to enrich it that way. Something analogous a little bit to the way we've changed the PhD program. We still have the dual PhD, where the, the graduates on that get a PhD at both Carnegie Mellon and the Portuguese University. But now we also have PhDs which are firmly in the 
in the Portuguese university, but with a year in Carnegie Mellon, they get some of the benefits. Actually, I think because the environment is rich, they get all of the benefits really now, because we got the richer environment, and a greater number can take benefit from it. So we shift a little bit because the situation is different. So I will look forward with interest to what the next phase may bring.